Good morning, kids. And we continue the adaptations of tropical rain forest. Two of the animals we have already covered in the previous lecture, the red eye frog and the monkeys. And today we are going to deal with the tuka bird. And this tuka bird has got a large size beak. That actually helps it take, grab, or capture whichever word you use. Those fruits they are available on the branches. Now we may think that those words can be only any of the fruits, and what is the speciality of such a big beak? The speciality is that it can pick up the fruits from those branches. Which are very delicate and they just cannot take the load of this bird. Meaning, if the bird sits on that delicate branch, the branch may crack. That branch is that delicate. So, what this bird does? It lands up on a sturdier or a stronger branch. And its beak is long and strong, it can take up the beak to that. Down of the branch and it captures the fruits from there and this. And like we have already covered previously, also that the animals living in rainforest they generally get their food shelter living on trees themselves. And they need not come to the ground. Birds, of course, are one among them. Monkeys, the red eyed frog that we had covered. So, once they are getting the nourishment, the water, the shelter, everything, see the leaves are big enough. When the rain falls, there is plenty of water on them. So, they are getting more department fulfilled there only we use this term in biology the upper strata the upper layer you can say the roof of the forest they get so they don't need to come down to the floor so let's write for this question i hope we have understood we can have a table to eat the food is different that happens in case of parrots also. They have a strong beak. They can climb the seats also. But this different bird's beak is long enough, strong enough, large enough to take up these fruits from the other branches, which are very, very delicate. This is the important adaptation it has. Because this is a long large big large big which helps it to reach the roots which helps it to reach the fruits or branches to reach the fruits on big branches. Basically, that branch is that big, it cannot take the load of this bird itself. And now we are going to write the important factor the big cats, lions, and tigers. 
We know that in cat family, these are the bigger size animals. And very commonly, some features are very, very common. A tiger, cheetah, lion, leopard, all of them. Uh, their skin color is near to bronze or stripes or spots that they deal with the camouflage means they can hide in the surroundings and they are not notified separately. So they can visit and hide in the glasses and they can attack their prey. Then speed, running of course is fast. Sense of sight and sense of smell. They can smell their prey from the long distance. And of course, one term that is not mentioned in the book, but that is true for these animals, that these animals are nocturnal animals. They can have very clear vision at night also. Before writing from these adaptations here, let me put some small question to my kids. Do you know the difference? How are you going to differentiate between a lion and a tiger? How does a lion differ? How does a lion see seeing an animal sitting? How can we identify that that is a lion? Let me ask. I have seen some of the hands being raised. And the first hand is Anjali Mina. Ma'am, the lion has a mane around his neck and yeah. his fur around his neck. Then lion has no spots or strips on his body. This is for lion. Anjali, yes, ma'am. What about the lioness? How will you identify lioness? Lioness doesn't have a mane. Lion. Lioness, the female lion. Lioness. Ma'am, on their body there is no spot and and uh, yeah, very good, very good. That's right. Most of them are black, brown, green, and brown in color. The skin color doesn't have any stripes or spots. And if you want to identify, of course, the male, the lion we are talking about will have a male, the male of the male, 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 how will you identify? How will you identify a tiger? Ma'am, tiger have strips on its body. Color of the strips. Yes, ma'am, and it is darker brown than lioness. Yes. yes. So that is like dark brown and light brown. So stripes with the help of the stripes, you can clearly make out that that is a tiger. Okay. In Hindi, we can call it as a bark, a heavy body. Please, we are going to discuss a few more. These tigers are heavy bodied animals, heavy bodied with stripes. They are very dangerous with a single strike of all. They can kill an animal and the way they attack an animal. See, now we say that that is the king of the jungle, but the king usually doesn't kill his prey. Lioness. They go in group. Five or six lioness, they go in group and they kill the prey and then the whole of the herd they eat. Okay, but tiger is so dangerous that tiger is directly attacks the neck, neck of the prey and breaks it. Its jaws are very, very strong. Heavy bodied animal with stripes, tiger. Okay, what about cheetah? How can you identify cheetah? Raise your hands so that I can see. Uh, can I ask the three? Cheetah? No. No, I don't think he has this idea. Okay. Mukash? No. Okay. So let me again ask um, a 
Anjali. Ma'am, yeah. the cheetah has spots on his body, and he it doesn't roar when it is sound when it uh, says or uh, roars. The sound that comes out of him is uh, similar to the sound of cat. Uh, he that, doesn't roar. See, the sound is so low that we cannot hear hearing any animal. Okay. Yes, it has spots on its body, and the clear identification mark is that cheetah. Now, one more difference. This cheetah is having long legs, slim pedigree body, and it is the fastest running animal. But the bottom line is that that fast running continues only for a small time, and then it gets exhausted. That's it. That is cheetah. What about leopard? This leopard. How will identify leopard? Very close. No. Yeah, Chirag. Ma'am, leopard can't run as fast as cheetah for even small time. No, cat can't run. Cheetah faster than leopard. Ma'am, it is lighter in color than than cheetah, and it mostly live on trees. Well, if I have to identify. If I have to identify, right? So this lion, of course, gets separated. There is no no mixing. The mixing goes between tiger, cheetah, and leopard. Tiger, we have understood. Heavy body, stripes, separate. Cheetah, good height, slim and big body, not fat. Long legs, runs very fast. Of course, of course. Leopard. It is, you can say, a smaller height cheetah with heavy body, and its tail is very like thick. Its tail has a thick fur on it. Leopard spots and bigger spots appear. Right, bigger spots. Cheetah has small spots. This will have a bigger, bigger spots on the body. It is. Its height is also lower, even lesser than uh, this tiger. It's lesser than that, and its tail is thick. What I would suggest my kids is please try to click on the images online so that you have even more clearer idea about them. Let's write the adaptation that I mentioned in the chapter about these cats. Can I see one line for leopard? Um, who was that? I'm Adarsh. Ha, uh, Adarsh. Hello. Some leopard took his prey on the tree and eat it. Leopard took his prey on the tree and eat it. Prey spring on leopard. Leopard took his prey on the tree and eat it. Well, my net yeah. is very smooth. Huh? Well, listen, ma'am. He is saying that leopard takes its prey to tree and eat it. They have to drag the prey to the top of the tree. Otherwise, even these balls, these balls, these balls, spiders, they will be catching the food of the prey. That is yes. That's one of the reasons why. The species is becoming endangered. No doubt, animals have been killed by humans, but this is one of the reason. With great difficulty, it kills an animal. It drags it to the tree, and from tree also comes down and they eat it. And this poor thing doesn't have the guts to take its prey from them. I know, I know. Right? They are in group. So it's fear them. But it's been from them. Well, anyways, let's write. Ma'am, your voice is breaking. Well, I can see it is coming very clearly. So let's start it from the board. The first adaptation. First. They have sensitive hearing. Sensitive hearing, 
sharp eyesight. Sharp eyesight. Six eight. Six eight. And a skin color. I'm going to write down that is it merges with the pack. That can be pages. by blending, blending with the surroundings. Try to see more of those videos if possible with these animals. One of them, the animals, the one and a number of times I repeated a recent past on your channel. There was this tigress they were actually looking forward. They wanted to hunt them down. They wanted to catch down either of the days. And for that, you know what these humans did. They caught hold up. On elephant because hearing the cries from her baby, she's definitely going to come. That's what they thought. And they were at greater height, sitting on elephant. And there was this grassland area, and these men were They were completely armed. They had these rifles in their hands. And they were all hunted down because they had this fear that this tigress may become man eater. Because time was encroaching in the human land. And we were moving on this grassland. From nowhere, see this camouflage factor I'm talking about. From nowhere. This tigress came, it jumped from bottom and it has injured two to three people sitting on a plane. And before the fire, she vanished in the dust again. They kept on searching for the whole day they could not find her. This animal is so sharp in hiding, camouflage. So this is an important feature, important feature for heritage. And of course, not catching one of the players. Strong sense of sight, smell, and they're being able to hide. This is one of the important features they have due to which they have survived for years together in operations. Write down these adaptations and then we'll continue with the next one. Done, ma'am. Now we are going to deal with the fifth animal or the second last, you can say, of the chapter lion tailed macaque. That is, in a way, you can say a beard tail, a bigger size monkey with beard on its face. We have its picture now on page number 76, the figure number 7.10. And if by now the kids have not, they have not completed this return then please take a screenshot. And now I'm going to wrap it up and I'm going to write for line tail macaque.
the adaptations are as same as that of the onto, but because of its peculiar feature, we are mentioning it here. It has silver white paint. Examples seeds foods seeds young leaves and Insect inside the bark, some insects are present, so it removes the bark and it removes insects. And the bark and now, of course, we have the Important most. Important most. The last one. That is about the color. Noted, ma'am. Noted, ma'am. And that is important also. By the time the kids are writing, we can have an understanding of its adaptations. With its structure itself, we must start understanding again, strong sense of sight and smell. It's long, long tusk, we say, is hollow, hollow teeth. We call it as tusk. Okay. And what is the function of those long colonies? They are actually responsible for clearing of the trees. That means they are helping the animal to lay to clear the, the trees so that it can help. But chewing it has different teeth on the mouth. And then this long running nose. That we call as crack. That helps it of the sense and connect the food to the mouth. So, more than one function there is a definition. Then we have these long, big ears. No doubt, they are going to catch food of the simplest of the smallest boy down. But on the second hand, 
it is helping them for planning because there is tremendous amount of fat devotion all over the body. So they keep planning, they keep moving the air until it helps them. To keep them moving, which you have seen again, I will give the example of National Geographic and Discovery Channel. They keep throwing the cool sand on their body because they want to keep themselves cool. The size of animals is such that even those big tigers, they would stay at that base elephants. But yeah, of course, their young children, they have been attacked by another predator, so they protect them. So we start writing for these elements. And have you heard that if somebody's memory is very good, we can say, your memory is like that of an elephant. Elephants yes, have very, very sharp and long retaining memory. If any X, Y, Z person has heard the animal, say for example, today, we are 2021, and the same person meets that animal after for five or six years. And if the mood of the animal is not good that day, the person is going to get bound back very nicely because he doesn't get the name, the face, the smell, body smell, everything it recognizes very well. The memory is very Okay, so let's start writing for the animal and maybe those adaptations which are mentioned in the chapter. The last six points. Its trunk is used as nose. For picking up food, for picking up food. That's an additional feature to be taken the trunk first of all. No other animal has this. It's tough. Those long hollow teeth are known as tusks. It's just our modified teeth that's our Anjali mute curl modified teeth used to hear the bark of trees. Use to hear or not free. Of course, after hearing the animal eats them, not ears. Large ears. Help it to hear. When it will hear so even very soft 
Even very soft sound. They also keep it cool. They also keep the environment cool. And dual function, that means two functions you may see. One, of course, for hearing. And of course, the other one for panning. And here, that's to clear. That clearly means we know that it has also got a strong sense of sight and hearing. Strong sense. Therefore, only we can sense the danger around. Well, anyways, it is a happy so we need not feed on any of the prey. But yes, it can sense the danger around and keep its youngsters safe. So basically, the adaptations for the trunk, for the tusk, and also for the fans, because they are different features that are not present in other animals. Well, that's all from my side today. We are going to deal with the question answers in my next lecture. And if anyone has any doubt, let me see, I am opening this. Yes, Chirag. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Yes, tell me. You have raised the hand. I thought you had a doubt. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Mute. Yes, ma'am. You have written that the you have written that the elephants can hear even very soft sound. Yeah. Tell me. One second. Yes, ma'am. Now clear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, you have written that the elephant can hear even very soft sound and in jungle there are many sounds so uh, their hearing gets hurted or not? There it gets what? Ma'am, there are many sounds in jungle. There are plenty of sounds and just hearing many sounds altogether, correct? When the question yes. is Ma'am, two elephant go hurt hota hoga na? Hurt? No. No, no, no. No, no, no. See, they are sensitive to this. For example, if something goes wrong, we rush to our home and we can close the door. Right? We are safe inside. Yes, ma'am. But these are some open fight for surviving. Every moment, it's not that it is to in the midnight and you are safe, you can nicely relax. Next morning, only the fight for survival begins. No, 24 7, every moment of their life is a threat. Okay, so they have to have this sense. This we are written for elephant, and they need for all animals. the be it the lion, the deer, or the elephant, all of them have strong sense of. Sight as well as hearing. Both of them are very, very strong. So they need to catch their prey. They prey to get away from the predator. Okay, ma'am. So it's like a food chain and that, of course, they need this sensation. But, anyways, that's what from my side gets to make lecture go. I will deal with the question answers. Ma'am, I have another doubt. Read and talk to <laughs> Ma'am, you have written that elephant keep, keep elephant uses its ear to keep itself cool. 
so if the there is if there is winter the, this will oh matlab usse usse to bahut thand lagegi na no see the panic of we have done during the summer part only because of the living in rain forest or the to we have covered right in it is yes, not we keep trying to enter so as a community and over the feel my statement again it has plenty of facts on its body okay ma'am so those animals looking at their size itself you can make out there that those animals who have plenty of fat deposited on their body they will not feel cool okay ma'am so they will be feeling hot because of the insulation of the fats on their body okay ma'am right. all right okay ma'am meet again tomorrow have fun and stay safe kids